Hello and welcome back to Red Gaming Tech. Today is the 27th of August and I'm here to give you your daily dose of the latest gaming news. Today I have more of a rumour for you concerning the Xbox One as an alleged internal retail document has basically given birth to a rumour concerning the Xbox One release date and basically it gives a release date of November 8th and also contains a schedule for forthcoming midnight launches at Walmart and of course does list the November 8th release date. Now this has been leaked to Kotaku and the source responsible for the leak supposedly works for a marketing company contracted by Walmart to produce signage and product placements. And many of the midnight launches listed on the, this particular document are marked as confirmed. However, of course, the Xbox One release date has not yet been confirmed by Microsoft. So that does suggest that if the document is legit, if it's true, they are still waiting for official confirmation from Microsoft. Now, of course, this would be before the release date of the PlayStation 4, which is, of course, releasing November 15th in the US and November 29th in Europe and Australia. So it would give them a little bit of a head start if this is true, which, of course, we do not know if it is at this stage. Now, I for one was fairly surprised when Microsoft did not announce the release date for the Xbox One during their conference at Gamescom and especially since they had a keynote speech from Phil Spencer as well, I was fully expecting a release date reveal. So it's entirely possible that they were waiting for Sony to reveal their release date so they could try and get the jump on them a little bit. Now obviously they did release the Xbox 360 before the PS3 which you could arguably say gave them a, a advantage in that particular console generation and maybe they're trying to make lightning strike twice in that regard and the Xbox One has made significant leaps and bounds in the whole PR side of things and public opinion has been shifting but personally a week for those of you who have already decided yep I want a PS4 I don't think that's going to make a lot of difference. Who it is going to affect is of course the people who are perhaps on the fence or haven't made up their mind or are just waiting to see what happens and just go with whoever is there or which one they prefer when it finally comes down to crunch time. So it'd be interesting to see if this is actually true. Personally I don't think this is going to make a huge amount of difference because despite the improvements, despite everything Microsoft has done to try and basically gain public opinion for the Xbox One, I still think the PS4 has a lead in terms of the opinion that people have on it, as in how it is perceived by just gamers in general. Sony has a head start even if the Xbox One does come out a week early. Now obviously this is just a rumour so let's not read too much into it at the moment. But I'm sure we'll get an official confirmation or denial of this rumour quite soon. So I will be keeping my eyes peeled. But I would be curious to hear your thoughts on what you think would happen. Do you think that if this rumour is true, the effect it will have on this console generation, do you think it's going to be a repeat of this current generation where the Xbox 360's lead did actually help it quite significantly? Or do you just not think that that's not going to help because of everything that's gone on with all the PR surrounding both the PS4 and the Xbox One? I would be curious to see your thoughts. Anyway, that has been done for this video. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you next time.